Hi folks, speaking of the um, Grey Park LCD sales assistant, we found the instructions in the video that we received with the first trial unit from China were incomprehensible and as a result and having numerous emails back and forth we've sorted out how we should go about it simply in making certain that it works first time for you. So that's what this DVD is all about, um, a very simple and fairly folksy um, explanation of how to run it. Now that's what the unit looks like and I'll just turn it on and you'll see a production there not in great colour because it's been reproduced twice from a webcam and the, colour, the actual colour is much better, really good high quality but it looks something like that when it's running. This is what you might expect from using a motion detecting liquid crystal display or monitor in your store for sales now, purposes. I'll just turn down, down the volume. Over 53% and let's have a look at the back here. When the unit comes, that's all covered with a golden strip that uh, is designed to protect everything there, but in fact hides it. You don't realise that and peel the golden strip off, you can't find anything. And there are three things of importance there. One is the USB port. Two is a, another port that we don't use. Three across here is the on-off switch for the motion detection, because it's very important, as you know, that you want this to turn on when people come past, so it's immediate and grabs their attention, and uh, but not be running until they get there. And that's really valuable. And finally, the volume control. You just saw me turn down there. I turn it up again. So, the three per custom while they last. You find them in the bottom rear corner of the store, next to the toy section. The end of that section. We've got two files we need to copy over to the LCD monitor to make it all work. The first one is one that tells it how to think, and I'll show you that file in a moment. It's on your CD, along with, the video, along with this video. And the second one, of course, is the one that we make up about um, the sales spell. But the first one's really important, because if we don't copy that over first and copy it properly, tell the machine that when someone comes past to, to turn on, when someone goes back to turn off, it'll actually turn off or on in a random fashion, and that's just no good at all. So now I'm going to uh, turn over to uh, another screen and show you the particular folder and the file that I'll be saving to a USB. On my screen here you'll see a folder and that folder is also on your DVD. That particular folder is the one that contains that important first setup file app.kp.bin.img. We're going to copy it and then we're going to paste it onto the USB stick. That's really important because that file is the one that sets the LCD up and uh, makes certain that it turns on when people walk past and turns off. If you don't load that one first and carefully, then it'll turn off and on erratically. When we talk about a USB, that's what we're talking about, one of these USB sticks. You don't need a big one because the maximum file is 100 megabytes and these days you'd be lucky to, to buy a USB stick that didn't have 8,000 times as much memory as that. But you now get yourself a small one, 250 megabytes perhaps, and, um, and that's what you'll be loading your uh, that particular file I talked about onto. Now the next step is very simple and straightforward. You just take your USB stick, you plug it into the back of the unit, over there, and there it is. Then you turn the unit on until then the unit's been off. You don't do don't insert anything or remove anything whatsoever while this machine's running. So when you get it off, you plug that in, you leave it, turn the power on, and you'll immediately see some symbols come up on the front, and it'll start downloading that uh, program, a control program, very very quickly. Next thing you do is turn the power off. When the power's off, remove your thumbstick, and we're ready to go. Now the final stage is generally straightforward. The first thing you want to do is make your DVD or your video. And you do that by using a video camera and taking an image of yourself or someone else talking about that specific product that you're trying to promote. And I'd say you keep it as short as possible, maybe two minutes, something like that, because people don't listen too long. And remember to locate that special product. at part of your store where people need to transfer as many of your other goods to get there. Now when you've made that video, you put it on the USB stick 
and this time the clean USB stick, you clean off the old files, make sure there's nothing on it but the one file. And that file must also be in MPEG format, .mpg. And anyone who's done any work whatsoever with video will understand it's the absolute norm, common file format, but it must be in .mpeg format. And then, with the LCD turned off, plug the USB stick in again, you turn the power on, and very quickly it'll find the one single file on that MPG, on the uh, stick, and it'll start downloading it. You see it downloading it because one side of the screen will tell you things like 50% to go, 40% to go, 30% to go, something like that. And when it gets to zero, it'll, it'll, be, it'll be completely loaded. And when it is, you can turn off this unit and only then remove your USB sticks. There's one other small thing we need to talk about, and that is that that MPG file has to be entitled in a special way. And I will now put that special way up on the screen here so you get it right. Continuous space loop dot MPG it'll be called, all in uppercase, and you can't vary it. If you do that, everything will be tickety-boo, and you'll be cooking with gas. You can change your video really easily. You just make a new video, put it onto the USB stick, making certain it's the only one on it. And you name this new video exactly the same as the old one, continuous space loop dot mpg. And when you put that in the machine, it overwrites the previous file, and uh, there you are, you've got something new. So it's pretty simple and pretty easy. The unit also comes with a small multi purpose controller. The only button you really need to worry about is that red one which turns the unit off and on. The rest of them you can pick up pretty quickly and easily. Now finally, it's also a set of written instructions. They look something like that. You should find them a lot easier to use now that you've seen the video. And uh, we wish you well, and we hope that this product is very, very successful in improving your sales.